what if a blogger <clears throat> has spent 20 years tasting wine and a blogger had, had experienced in numerous continents and a blogger clearly had a well-educated palate? Would it be okay for them to trash the wine then? I mean, I'm not saying it's okay or not okay for anyone to do it. I think it's just it's a consideration that people, that bloggers and marketing people need to take too, is that, you know, how are we presenting ourselves as professionals? So, so I think um, I actually do write where I guess might be called negative reviews. If there's a wine that I don't particularly care for, but if it doesn't have a, an obvious fault, I just explain why it's not to my particular liking and, and probably try to suggest what kind of wine drinker might like it. Maybe it's someone who's switching from whites to reds. So it's a really, you know, it's just not my particular type of wine, but it might appeal to them. So is that the proper way to give a negative review? This wine exhibits um, the following characteristics, A, B, C, D. I don't particularly like it, but if you like a wine which is A, B, C, and D, you ought to jump out and get this wine. Is that the proper way to do it? That's sure, that's exactly how I do it, but... Uh, I'll, I'll use my wife to skip And I'll say, <laughs> not quite my speed, but my wife will. Because it's bright, it's very acidic, it's more acidic than I prefer. We had it with this, and it was a nice evening, the wine, you know, the bottle's empty. But she liked it more than I did. So I might do that and say, you know, it may not have been my favorite, it didn't really to my heart, but for her it worked. And then, so maybe that gives you a little, I know it, for me it's a little bit leeway too. Well, I think if you're writing wine reviews, you're also hopefully a okay. To who's reading you, or people are going to trust your palate. Just like when you develop a relationship with a retailer, you go to that particular store because you get to know the retailer, you get to know his palate, he knows yours. You know, when I go to a blog that I read regularly, I I would like to think that oh, I agree with what you know they like and dislike. So explaining why you don't like it makes so much sense. I mean, that to me is more valuable than you know this wine is flawed. Like I don't like this wine because it doesn't have enough fruit or it's too tannic or whatever, then I get a sense of like, oh, okay, your palate's like mine, no, your palate's different. It's like movies, books, anything. It's so subjective if you can explain why you like it and don't like it. Well, you can also say that you know, you're drinking it too young, too, mm -hmm. to the some other points that, because sometimes you're, you're just drinking it before you should, it's ready. That's the wine as well. Well, you know, it is. Everybody's got a blog, and it's, it's yeah, bloggers' expression of whatever they do, right? It's how that particular blogger feels, and their style of writing, their style of talking about it. There's, you know, people pick that blog because they like it. They want to want to, you know, go to uh, Chandra's, or you want to go, you know, the snip, snarl people, or, you know, everybody's got a different side, and people follow that. And it's, you know, the, the wineries put the wine out there, and it's on the shelves, and they want it to be drink, and if it's good, bad, it's up to that water to express it however they feel fits into their blog. And most people choose, I think most probably choose just not to put a bad review out. They just don't take the time. Uh, yeah, the ones that do, you know, they'll do it in whatever style and they're perfectly capable of doing that. Yeah.